developing a story at six. Six people, including four children, rescued from New York Harbor. See their boat on the right, totally underwater near Ellis Island. We spoke to the passengers and the rescuers who brought them to safety. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live on Ellis Island. Alice. Dana, we're told this all happened so quickly, and thankfully the response to save these people was equally as fast. A dock attendant saw them all go into the water. He then immediately jumped in to help. Chopper 2 over New York Harbor as a capsized 15 foot boat drifted. Two men and four young girls were on board at the time and forced into the water near the Wall of Honor at Ellis Island. Immediately, a Statue Cruises dock worker saw what happened and jumped in to help. Park police and the NYPD also assisted. I only saw five, so I asked, Where's the last person? They said the five year old was um, stuck under the boat. She was just like crying and just gasping for air, and I was just telling her to relax, telling everyone to relax. So um, that we, I was there and we were going to get more help. She was just happy that I helped her. The men say they left from Newark and within 10 minutes felt there was trouble with the motor. The water got inside the boat so fast and then got sink. If the every kids got in the water. The bilge pump was not working properly. So as it took on the water with the wind conditions that you see now, it capsized the small vessel. Everyone was taken to Jersey City Medical Center to get checked out. That's where we caught up with the family, grateful to be on dry land. I want to say thank you very much for saving my life. And like they had a really big crew there, so they were like securing us really well. So they made me calm and safe. The rescue took about 15 to 20 minutes. Everyone was wearing a life jacket. There was four children who were shaken, crying. Uh, so, you know, they were a little rattled. You know, it's a nice day. The water temperature is about 70 degrees, but conditions out here are fairly rough. You can see the choppy water out here. It is windy. There is a lot of vessel traffic out here, a lot of large vessel traffic. So officials say this family is lucky that this all happened closer to Ellis Island in New York Harbor and not out in the middle of the Hudson River, or the outcome could have been very different, Dana. Everyone is expected to be okay. We're live on Ellis Island tonight. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. That is good news and relief. Thank you very much.